Once again, on a lovely day, we gather for a family lunch, 17 Greys, 8 Edinburgh Thompsons, and 7 Dundee Thompsons. Belinda and Blair hosted the party at their lovely property in Fife, about to be sold. And in the 30 acres, there is a beautiful pond, but no one went fishing. Our hostess, Belinda, directed operations in the kitchen, while Blair, our host, directed the cooking outside. Oops, hi there. Have you seen the Some yeah, lubrication on the, on the barbecue. <laughs> yes, I was having On arrival, most people gather outside by the barbecue to meet and greet. And of course, these hamburgers smell great. Cooked by Doogie once again. It looks a bit like uh, looks a bit like last year. <laughs> Inside is the youngest member of the group, Adam, who is posing for a photograph with his grandparents. Unfortunately, Emily was unable to be with us. Ah. You're really upset, were not you? You're smiling. Adam. And it goes room, and it starts up again. I don't need to fiddle with keys or. Where are you, Adam? Adam. But unsurprising, not too smart. Smart thing. Now we move up the tree a little bit and feature uh, Madeline, Zachary, Jamie, Anders, and Ella. If you got him, if you got him. And very good children they were too. No fighting, no whining, and no crying. What do you say your name was? What's your name? Zachary. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Eating keeps them reasonably quiet, and then it's time for noise in the playroom. the gatekeeper and doing a good job sure, of keeping people out. Sure, you got it right. <laughs> the dog's waiting too, desperate. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Anders enjoying the slide, but he's not quite so sure the second time he wants to hang on. Safer. He's cheeky! <laughs> now moving to the top of the tree, or perhaps the bottom, we look at some of the more mature people. Grandparents enjoying a day in the sun. And then it's the turn of the middle of the tree people, the mothers and fathers, and Children, but not so young. So papers. Talk to the head economist at the Scots. <laughs> 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 The best place eligible team. What is the term? Three cross on the wall. I knew there are four. And then it goes to five. The kitchen is now depleted pretty much of food, although I see some hamburgers left over. Soothing bits as well. And some of us, of us require a bit of exercise to work it all off. The Junior League. 
And now we see the coach of the m Middle League getting our vitamins before the vital match. Is he going to play? Jimmy's oh, he's goalie. Oh, my God. Oh, One year on and she hasn't lost her touch. Yeah, get past you. And finally, we get to the real serious stuff. But I don't know who won. However, some of us take our exercise more leisurely. The balls have disappeared. Maybe we should just pop, like, just see. He's the champion. And of course, we mustn't forget our friends from the animal world getting to know each other and then having fun. <laughs> well, uh, what's next? Our final look at the group. You never know I was dark. <laughs> and somebody looks like they've passed out in the heat. You lads are sitting the wrong way. And now it's time to say goodbye, but also to remember last year. So, a short reminder of how it went. Richard was not with us this year, but was last. And Jen hadn't lost her touch this year. <laughs> and some people were one year younger and are now growing up fast, and others are also one year younger, but staying the same. And we all look forward to next year, perhaps at 35 in Valise Row.